but Ness versus Yoshi, talent manifests. Yep. Got oh. Noku versus Dijon Mark. Dijon Mark been playing some Lucina, but going with the with the uh, Kirby here. And Noku starting on the Ivysaur, and this has been a journey for Noku to sometimes start Ivysaur, whereas you I, know, in the past he would have started Squirtle I by agree. default most I of the time. I agree against Kirby. Like Squirtle's best advantages have been like like for instance Kirby, his best stuff is his like grounded tilts, you know? And Squirtle wants to be on the ground for the most part. And being a short character, sometimes Squirtle's moves don't hit in the way that you would like them to. So I much prefer going Ivysaur, having massive hitboxes and an ability to wall this character out. And and as you can see from what has happened, the result is the same, right? You want it you go Squirtle to get them to 80% <laughs> with combo game. Whoa. What he did is up throw, up air, up air, and then got another combo. And now Kirby is sitting at kill percent, and not, so you did the same thing with Ivysaur that you'd want to do with Squirtle. Um, well, and, and now, yeah, now they're back to neutral. So like Noku, I feel like he's gonna do do a lot of poking with that side B. Just wait, similar to how he saw in the last set, just wait for a whiff, and and, and hope to punish it. Ooh, what an interesting option right there. Yeah. I think he realized that. Ah, oh, that come was on. good coverage. You're gonna be so cute with the hat. Oh, he wait, somehow what? ducked that. Even though, oh my <gasps> God, he died for that. He got hit. I mean, not all the hits spike, right? Like, he got. He no, it if you interrupt it, that's it the thing. Does spike them if all? it trades, they'll spike. I didn't know that. That's yeah. that's that's great that's awareness. Yeah, no, then. it's uh, it's, 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 it on it's almost similar to how Ivysaur's neutral air. If you trade with it, it semi spikes you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because it's it. Yeah. Yeah. Every every like uh, the way it's programmed, if it gets interrupted, you still get semi spiked. Yep. Right, good damage wow, with the down throw. I mean, and all the advantage that Noku yeah, had. The momentum like, completely reversed. We had like a 0 to 100 combo on the first stock, and now we're down a full 100% on in the other direction. Uh, that does mean that now he has rage, which means he has the advantage. <laughs> I am bleeding, making me the victor. Ooh. <gasps> the movement. Not, wow. Okay. Uh, Dijon not, so far not getting hit by like Ivy's lead shenanigans, which is like, you know, that's... That's a matchup check, right? Like, are you gonna get are you gonna get tricked by the, you know, up B vine tether cancel? Like, are you gonna are you gonna get hit by the drop down up B? He's just not getting hit by it. Um, so he's yeah. passing that check. And I, he's playing. He's is it just me, well. or does Kirby up air have like a weird amount of end lag? I don't know. Next time he does it, watch. I feel like a lot of aerials in this game have like you know, wow, like everything's a free L cancel. But then up air is just like, a, it's like I don't know. Let's see. Thanks. Ooh, meaty Charizard back air. Not getting the sweet spot, I don't think. Probably would have killed. Ooh, oh, missed yeah, the sweet attack. Spot That's kill. huge. That's huge. And the momentum has shifted once again. But bringing it right back with that meaty back air. It's funny that there's kind of been a mirrored story here, which is that one player takes a massive lead, and then the other person gets a clutch edge guard on yeah. them. And then, you know, it's, it's responded in kind very quickly. But... And as if that trend is to continue, I would actually say John Mark has the advantage here. Yep. Ooh. But you know, in terms of percent, like there's things John Mark can 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 die to here. Like a down throw up B will, will, might kill if if he gets the um if he gets the right DI. Yeah. Oh right. Uh, down throw off stage here is ooh that the semi spike. Oh, just like you were talking about the semi spike, and that was that was huge that he interrupted that. But Ivy off stage, ooh he he went for it. Ah, he got hit by the vine whip, just like I said he wasn't getting hit by. Him. <laughs> you know, it happens to the best of us, right? Ooh. Oh, look at that. If even the parry wasn't enough. Up to it so quick and good. Oh, boy. This is not a good position. Yeah. Tech? Yeah. Oh, yeah. he gets on deck. Oh, oh but I don't he know accidentally buffered the dodge. Oh, Where's that DI? DI bad. He was expecting You the, have to know. You, you got to know the F throw is never going to kill, right? So you no, don't. F and it's back throw and down throw the kill throws. Right. You DI both of them the same, the same direction. Yep. Yeah. So. You got to know that. That's a matchup check thing. He that, might that he have died. Anyway, he might have. Well, he just would be off stage, like, but like that's another. He's a position he's come back for, right? You, yeah. you got to di it out. Um, yeah. It's not going to true combo at that percent into anything. It's not going to true combo the vine whip. You just got to di it out and find your way back down. Yeah, it's a disadvantaged position, but like don't di it in. Um, hopefully, he won't get hit by it again. He's got, you know, he's got at least two more games to figure this out. Um, and the IV seems to be working. Like we didn't see Squirtle once, and Noku did. Well, yeah, I mean, so. that's one of the really cool things about Pokemon trainers, the flexibility. If yeah. one of the Pokemon just doesn't work in the matchup, I mean, listen, have you ever played competitive Pokemon? Sometimes <laughs> you are just playing like a 2v3. <laughs> like, Ooh. there's a Pokemon that's just not really going to be useful for you, and you just recognize that, and Noku's making oh, do with what he's got. Very bad. What? He, oh, oh, my God! What? He died for it? Oh, oh my god! Back. Oh my god! He oh, died! Amazing spacing! What a, what a roller coaster! 
Is the tail a disjoint? It probably is, right? I actually don't. It probably has a slight disjoint too, but I don't think that's like it's really disjointed. Because that didn't that didn't even trade. Um, well, I think the cutter hitbox was above it because like yeah. it, it angles upwards. I don't know. I feel like he has the hurt box on his tail when he does it, but I could be wrong about that. Probably if not anybody the in the comments the knows, least. feel free to flame me. <laughs> Oh man, and this is Noku can hopefully run away, you know, with with this stock um, and just get more damage and extra credit and keep him in disadvantage and maybe kill him with a spike. <laughs> but Dijon Mark got to play from behind now. Yeah. Um, now here's a uh, quick question: Are we in best two out of three territory? We are in best three of five. Best three of five for all of top eight. Super cool. That means that we have a lot of tip games here. John Mark, yep. even though he's down, oh, find a bit right here. Good tech, amazing tech. That's just not. Yeah, he actually died. does it. Yeah, probably yeah. the right di, but um, still, you know, so I'm much you can sure. do. I'll throw what it killed too, right? Maybe. Um, He's at 100. Depends on the stage. Ooh, oh, caught, oh, caught the jump. Oh, oh, oh he, he almost had him if he intercepted that, but that's that's hard. You know, these tether recoveries are just so they're so tricky to understand the trajectory correctly. Yeah, and also they can like vary up the timing, so even a long-lasting hitbox isn't necessarily the be-all end-all answer that you'd like it to be. For sure. Oh, not getting it. Kirby light, so like actually not, you know, these these like uh, razor leaf combos just not gonna be true at as many percents on a light character. And this is I love the way that John Mark is utilizing his jumps off stage. Wow. The way that he's going for a jump and then fast falling, then fast falling, oh. and really mixing up his movement. That was great, like offstage play from Noku. I feel like you dead are dead. Here. Yeah, very you good. Are oh very my God. dead. I had a question a... mark in my head, and there should not have been. There's an exclamation point. <laughs> Ooh, but yeah, the up throw won't kill at this percent, so he goes for the down throw just to get the damage. And no invincibility, it doesn't matter. It's like so tricky punishing that line whip. It's just so hard being above Ivysaur. Like I, I think I think that anyone who has trouble with the Ivysaur just needs to understand that like jumping is super bad. Being above Ivysaur in any capacity is really bad. Because Ivysaur's got so many hitboxes that meet that. So Yeah, um, I mean also, I mean being to the side of Ivysaur isn't great either because he has back air. Yeah, that's Ivysaur. true. And Razor Leaf. And being below Ivysaur, oh you don't want to be there. Because that's <laughs> where he is down there. You don't so. want to be below him off stage, but you never want to be off stage. <laughs> No I don't know, man. You never want to be below me if he's on a platform above you. Yeah. I'm just going to say, it's like I, I don't know if there's a single space you want to be against Ivysaur except for far, far yeah, away yeah. from him. I think that was bad DI. Um, too, I don't think he would have lived. No, I, don't think I think he, he was anyway. dead. That might have just been like, get me to game 3 DI. Yeah. It happens. If Noku wins this, I think he's slated to run into PK Chris, and Noku is, in fact, the one who put PK Chris into loser's bracket, so... Getting the run back there, and like the the no Squirtle really working out. Like the Dijon Mark not playing around the the Ivy Store, not succeeding against the Ivy Store the way he needs to be. Is this, is this some weep shit? <laughs> Look, Noku's even taunting. He's saying, "Don't go above me," because that's his tag. Yeah. He's saying, "Above is where I want you to be." Oh, and we got the color change. You know, change your color, change your the life. The character swap. I like it. <laughs> Blue, blue Kirby is high he tier. He blends in with the background. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god. god. The awareness. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, he's no way Noku's going to be able to up air him. When <laughs> he's, he's not going to see him. Yeah, he's, 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 you like, can't hit what you can't see. <laughs> kind of like how white Game & Watch is objectively against Game & Watch color. Yeah, gray Game & Watch. Can't tell when he's, when air he's, dodging, when he's yeah. air dodging. Listen, sometimes. Uh, oh, and we get the punish. Yep. I wonder if that was optimal. Oh, that was great awareness. Oh, that's beautiful. He, he, he intercepted him three different times, landing, and took the stock for it. That was beautiful. Yeah, and I mean, we hadn't been seeing anything like that in the edge guards up until now, so I love the fact that we're seeing it. And um, there was another interaction there where, where I feel like Noku thought there was going to be a tech situation, but DJ Mark was aware that because his character is so light, he's he's was going to be able to jump out of it. Um, oh, that... that Probably could have been the stock, but it's hard to know how many jumps Kirby has left, right? They know John Mark off stage. That's really been where he's uh, he's just used those jumps so effectively. He's not dying as much as as much as I would imagine he would die when he finds himself off stage. Yeah, um, Kirby's a light little character too. He's a puffball. I mean, he's gonna die to these Ivysaur spikes at like medium percent. Wow, I can't believe Ivysaur neutral air is such a little end lag. He was able to air dodge like almost the very yeah. end of it. 
I feel like they program like the moves that last a long time. They're like, all right, that lasts a long time. They have a lot of time to react to getting hit by it. Surely they'll time their punish right. <laughs> but like, no, it's, <laughs> they they give it no end lag, and then it's like really hard to punish. Wow, Whoa. that was that was fantastic because he, he knew Noko was gonna air to air in anticipation of of an aggressive option, probably go out of shield and and jump. And he just called it out and killed him for it, which yeah. is like peak gameplay, and right? Squirtle got his two cents in. This got is a bad the side position, B. though. And uh, now it's back to Ivysaur. Wow, right? that was amazing. He used that disjoint to avoid the, um, whatever you call that thing, the... Uh, oh, he did not want that dash attack. No yeah. way he wanted what, that dash attack. I wonder attack. what he did want. He, maybe he wanted to charge like, an like F-Smash uh, the other maybe way, call smash. it air dodge. He could have maybe been trying to do like a, a back air. Back air, I was thinking, maybe. I mean, I'm not sure. Like he must uh, turn around back in. Ooh, could die for this. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, missed the attack and empty John Mark punished him for it. Oof. The Jordan disjoint not. on that fair is really He is surviving to 150. Kirby is, uh, if you didn't know this, a light character. You wouldn't think so. He's yeah. surviving to Ganon percentages right now, but yeah, he's supposed to be light. Yep. I feel like um, what Dijon is doing a lot is, is Noku's being patient and Dijon is actually like punishing him for it by by knowing that he's just going to kind of do empty movements a lot um, and not swing until he has... Yeah, that was... That was <laughs> your, your movement is no match for my mashing. Your lack of hitbox is no match for my hitbox. That's um, true. But he's like closing the distance and then like Noku's kind of still... Um, not swinging when the distance is being closed uh, and not picking a defensive option to just be patient and wait for him to throw out something. But Dijon called him out for it quite a few times and just racked up damage and then killed him. So we got one on the board for Dijon. That's good. Good yeah, for him. Could be a big shift in momentum. We'll see if it ends up persisting now. I feel like a big reason why that game went so well for him was at the first minute he got that beautiful edge guard. If he can yeah. recreate that kind of success, Definitely, I could see him bringing it at the very least to a game five, but it feels like Noku. Well, as I say that, he starts getting comboed. Ooh, I like that. I love that. Recognizing that Kirby doesn't necessarily have the greatest movement options. And you're Ivysaur, you're not a quick boy, but sometimes you're able to just jump all the way over him. Wow, avoiding. avoiding. That felt like a dangerous place for Dijon to put himself in, but he avoided I, anything there. Forward smash didn't hit? Ooh, I don't know, yeah. He down tilted. I, I feel like that's supposed to kind of. Wow, oh, got the sweet spot. Not quite, not quite killing. Would have been a huge game if that killed. Yep, calling out the defensive option with a grab. Ivy, like, you know, shield is good against Ivysaur because his poking option, like, he's gonna try to poke you. Um, so Noku calling that out by throwing out grabs when it makes sense for his opponent to be shielding, you know, that's just, that's just good gameplay. And not not being quite as patient, right? Noku's not doing as much empty movement, and he's swinging more to to, to prevent the the un, unchallenged approaches yeah. by Kirby. But the counter to that, John Mark, then being a little bit more patient himself. The jump, the jump, probably the only get up option that gets hit by that down smash there. I I don't know what that stone was. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like I never know what any stone is with Kirby. <laughs> right? I mean, no, there's some stones where, like, clearly it's like, ah, I will go for a song mix up and hit you yeah. off stage. Wow, I think he got the tech too, but it was untackable. Yeah, was no, angle no, no way was that untackable. No. <laughs> you would have to go to another game for that to be techable. Yeah. Like, that was br brutal. Noku's angles on these things, too, are just, like, they're just beautiful. He's always throwing that Charizard back air out in exactly the place where it needs to be to, like, to, to catch, the, catch Kirby. Damn, that, that back Ivysaur back air is such a tricky poke tool. So you just have to you have to hold both. Ooh, he tried to call each other. I think that was a missed up there. Oh, you think so? I really do. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, up smash at this point, I don't even really kill. Yeah, that was uh, that was a, that was was a handed to him, and he, and he took it. Well, so. the thing is that it was good recognition from Noku because John Mark had been recovering low so much. Yeah. And then we going for hop, fast fall, hop, fast fall, and then he was below the stage. And at that point... Yeah, see, like, that, that was just weird. He got that down tilt before and didn't get the forward smash. I know that that is a, usually a true combo, so. If they, they missed the attack. Yeah, they missed the attack, but, yeah, he's just, Oh, wow. Feels like I'm going to kill him with a, um, with an F smash there. It's I don't, so I hard don't, to react. Yeah, I don't, are, I think trip mechanics I think reactable, genuinely, generally? I don't think it is, unless you have, like, I don't know, zoomer reaction time. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> I don't know if John Mark has either. Yeah, it's, it's hard. And he, he clearly preemptively went for a... He, he tried to call out either the trip or the shield um, by going for a grab. Did something, but... 
Ooh, wow. Great, great. Called out a jump from corner. You know, jumping out of the corner is just like a classic habit. Ooh, let him whiff and then hit him for it. <laughs> Always like a, it, interesting to try to call out a Kirby just sort of landing, right? Because he has so many jumps. You got to imagine, unless he's out of jumps, he's probably not just going to land. Ooh. It's good. He doesn't want bullet seed. I, I, I agree with that. <laughs> No! <laughs> Miss him one? Or, like, did he really just no, try I to do honestly, it to him? I think he was waiting for the... Uh, Attack? No, I couldn't tech I think he was waiting for the, uh, the tether cancel. Ah. That might have been a really solid answer yeah. for, like, tether cancel neutral air. And then just kill him for it. Good yeah. stuff from Noku. Like, he, 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 yep. he did the things he needed to do um, and took, took two stocks with spikes there.